welcome to my channel today i am going to talk about the forces and moments that are acting on a tear a rolling tear actually here consider a tear that is moving in this direction you can see the wheel torque is in the clockwise direction here so there are three axes as you know one is x second is y and third is axis z so there are three forces and three separate moments in all these axes so uh, in the x axis there is a force called tractive force as you can see here and it is represented by f suffix x because it belongs to the x axis and the moment that is correspond in here is the overturning moment which is represented by mx because uh, it is uh, mostly happened due to the roll over uh, time of the vehicle or when the vehicle is tilted so if uh, this the consider this coin as a tear the overturning moment will uh, uh, will try to overturn the wheel like this it will actually try to tilt the wheel or tilt the plane of the wheel like this this is the overturning moment and uh, the tractive force will be in the x direction it will uh, make the tail to rotate or move forward and the y axis uh, the y axis have uh, the force that is called the normal force which is due to the uh, weight of the vehicle that is distributing uh, through the tail and and to the ground you can see the normal force acts through the perpendicular plane of the x axis which is y and the moment corresponds to the y axis is the aligning torque the aligning torque helps to retain the position of the tear after steering the, uh, you can see there is there are no external uh, external mechanism for retaining the position of the tear or wheel after steering uh, these are caused by the camber angle uh, caster angle as well as uh, the aligning torque made by or the slip angle these three corresponds to the self aligning torques that is acting through the y axis similarly in the third perpendicular axis which, which is z here we have the lateral force which is uh, designed by f suffix z uh, so it is designated by f suffix z uh, uh, because uh, the lateral force acts through the z axis and lateral force contains the camber thrust cornering force as well as a side force depending on what type of camber we have whether it is positive or negative um, the uh, total lateral force will be the sum of uh, cornering force as well as camber thrust if the camber angle is negative uh, if it is positive uh, the total lateral force will be uh, uh, the cornering force minus camber thrust uh, if you need to know more about it uh, i have a video about camber thrust and camber angle uh, just check that out in this figure we are considering the positive camber angle so the total lateral force will be uh, cornering force minus camber thrust that is total lateral force fl is equal to cornering force minus camber thrust which is equal to fc minus ft and the moment in the z axis is the rolling resistance uh, which is written by m suffix z uh, it is actually the resistance force that is resisting the motion of the wheel or resisting the wheel torque it is uh, it is acting in the counter clockwise direction because the wheel torque is acting in the clockwise direction so uh, the rolling resistance will oppose the uh, wheel torque this is all about the forces and moments acting on a tear. Uh, I, I will explain it again. The three forces are, first one is the tractive force. Second one is the lateral force, which is in the z-axis. And third one is the normal force, which is in the y-axis. And the three moments are, the rolling resistance is in the set axis and the aligning torque 
which is in the y-axis and third one is the overturning to overturning couple that is in the x-axis so there will be always uh, uh, when there is a lateral force there will be a slip angle because uh, the wheel will actually tend to rotate in an, uh, another plane or another axis uh, rather than uh, following the uh, line of action of tractive force so there will be a slip angle so the direction mo direction of motion of the tail will be this uh, so if you, if you need to know more about it you can check them, check my video about cornering stiffness and cornering force hope you enjoyed my video and learned something new uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you